था शाया नाउ लेट स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग दिस बुक सो द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन दिस बुक इज कॉल्ड विश्वामित्रा स्क्वेस्ट नाउ टू बिगिन विथ इट स्टार्ट बाई से दशरथ किंग दशरथ वॉज वॉन्डरिंग अबाउट द वेडिंग ऑफ हिज सन्स एंड दैट्स वेन ऋषि विश्वामित्रा केम टू विजिट दशरथ सो अ रोयल गार्ड केम रनिंग इन एंड टोल दशरथ दैट द ऋषि हैज कम एंड सीक्स हिज ऑडियंस दशरथ वॉज एक्सट्रीमली डिलाइटेड टू हियर दिस एंड ही रज टू वेलकम द ऋषि एंड ही वॉज लाइक this is the best thing that has happened such a you know uh, renowned uh, rishi has come to visit me and he told he asked the rishi what can i do for you whatever you say i will get it done this is my word so the rishi was extremely happy to see the kind of welcome that king dashratha gave him so he said i have undertaken a sangalpa of completing a yajna but i am not able to do that because of two powerful rakshasas these rakshasas belong to ravana and they throw pieces of raw flesh in uh, my yajna vedi and disrupt the rituals this has happened many times and i am not able to punish them myself even if, even though i am capable of doing so so to help guard my yajna i want rama to come with me and under my protection i am certain that rama can destroy the rakshasas and for that i will confer upon him skills and strengths that will bring him fame in this world i assure you of rama's safety do not let your fatherly love color your decision dashratha was shocked to hear this rama was his like his atma resided in rama rama was everything for him so he gathered all his thoughts and finally said see rama is only a child and he is not even 16 yet how can he defend these powerful rakshasas and everyone has heard of ravana ravana is undestroyable and he also had the boon from brahma deva that he won't be like he is immortal like except by human beings he cannot be killed so um dashratha said that he has a huge and capable army he can send that entire army with vishwamitra and this army will definitely protect the yajna and he also said that i myself will come with you and i will fight the rakshasas until my last breath but vishwamitra was extremely disappointed to hear this and he said you said that you know you will keep your word and now you are saying you cannot you only asked me ask uh, you only told me to ask me for whatever i want and now you are saying that you cannot fulfill my one and only wish so uh, he was very furious and he said may you be happy with your fo- false oath i am leaving and he was about to leave so by seeing this um, furious vishwamitra rishi vashishta said to dashratha that um, you know you are dashratha you are known for keeping your word you cannot uh, like if you if you uh, don't keep your word then you will become infamous in the world right so um, under vishwamitra's care nothing no harm can happen to rama let rama go so dashratha was little relieved to hear this and he agreed and thus rama and lakshmana went with rishi vishwamitra to accomplish this task so rama and lakshmana carried their uh, bow and arrow and went along with rishi vishwamitra and to his ashram their journey was a four day trek and it in- involved crossing a lot of forests but the boys did not complain so rama and lakshmana were princes and they lived in luxury for their entire life and one day when they had to leave all the luxury behind and go with this r- rishi they did not complain and that is something which we all have to learn from them and so the rishi stopped at the bank of river sarayu and asked rama to take a sip from that holy river and he said that he is going to uh, like transfer the knowledge of uh, bala and atipala vidya so these are powerful mantras and it would make rama immune to physical and mental pain and thus the rishi proceeded to give 
give them give them the knowledge now after their journey continued for some more time they reached the place where tadaka was living and tadaka was a rakshasi and rishi asked uh, rama to kill tadaka but rama was thinking that it is written in the scriptures that we should not kill any women and so uh, the rishi read his mind and said uh, more than following the scriptures blindly as a king you should follow dharma not just this is not just for being the king this is for all of us so you know dharma depends upon our situation our awareness and the time we are in right so even if my dharma my dharma can vary according to all this according to the situations and the awareness and the time but um, so even though it's written in scriptures like this his dharma as a king at that moment was the welfare of his subjects so he should you know take care of his subjects and for that the destruction of tadaka was absolutely necessary so rama said that okay uh, i will try and uh, the, the so uh, also one more thing was uh, tadaka had the power of being invisible after sunset so uh, rama had to kill tadaka before sunset and uh, under rishi vishwamitra's guidance he managed to do so so rishi vishwamitra's ashram was called siddhashram and bhagwan vishnu in his vamana avatar lived in siddhashram for many years and rishi vishwamitra said that he chose siddhashram due to his bhakti for the vamana avatar rama and lakshmana started guarding the yajna and it went on peacefully for 5 days and nights on the 6th day the rakshasas came rushing towards the ashram to ruin the yajna so rama shot maricha with all the knowledge that he had gained so far rama shot the rakshasas and uh, maricha was one of the rakshasas and maricha like because of rama's powerful shot he he like flew away and landed in a river uh, la- he was thrown into a sea that was 100 yojanas away so a yojana is a unit of measurement of distance and um, one yojana is equal to like 30 13 kilometers so he was thrown into a, a sea which was 100 yojana away that much powerful was rama's uh, like the the sh- the the shot of rama was that much powerful and the other rakshasa was um, yeah then he killed all the remaining rakshasas so thus rishi, uh, rishi vishwamitra's uh, sankalpa was fulfilled but he was not done yet he had one more task to accomplish his next de- destination was mithila the land where janaka king janaka was ruling and janaka was organizing a maha grand yajna uh, so he wanted rishi wanted to attend that and he asked rama and lakshmana to join him so he said that janaka has a precious heirloom called the shiva dhanush and the bow is so massive and heavy that not even gods could lift it leave alone men so many kings have kings have made the attempts to lift it but all were in vain so by her when janaka heard that rishi vishwamitra was coming he rushed to welcome the rishi and Uh, janaka said that he has decided to marry his precious daughter sita only to that king or a prince who can lift the shiva dhanush and tie it string it successfully and um, so rishi vishwamitra asked janaka to show the shiva dhanush to rama and lakshmana so thus rama took a look at the shiva dhanush and he not only string the dhanush he even broke it he like shot such a powerful arrow from it as if it was a child's play rama had that much strength so janaka was extremely happy about this and he he understood that rama is the uh, you know dis, uh, like is the uh, right husband for sita and thus rama and sita got married so rishi vashishta was right about the fact that rishi vishwamitra took along rama to his ashram not for his personal gain but for rama's benefit this is what the first chapter of this book is about now i'll see you all in the next video namaskar